What is up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are here at Thunder Chrysler in Bartow, Florida and we are sitting in possibly one of the coolest Dodge Rams I have ever sat in in my life. This is an AEV. I don't know, you might not be able to see it from there. Hold on. This is an AEV Ram 2500. It is a 6.7 four-wheel drive crew cab short bed and this thing is an absolute monster. Uh, it is a big horn package. Uh, like I mentioned, it's a 6.7. It has a 68 RFE automatic transmission. Uh, it's the big horn, so it has most of the cool stuff that you would want. Uh, your cruise control here, uh, of course, you know, for your instrument panel, your, your controls here, voice recognition, um, you know, most of the main, the, the main controls that, that you would expect on a fourth gen, but also, it has the awesome uh, instrument cluster here. It's the updated one, or I'm, I'm sorry, it's the upgraded one that has the nice screen with the nice gauges in it. Uh, not like the Tradesman where it just has the little block like right here and it's just like basic information. This is the upgraded one that comes in the big horns and, and the, the nicer package vehicles. Um, but as you can see, this truck only has 69 miles on it and she is a beauty it's got the 8.4 uconnect uh all the stuff you would expect in a package like this uh, of course your four wheel drives right here i prefer the lever you guys know that i don't know why i always have to say that but i'm just saying i feel like this truck really should have had the manual uh transfer case uh manual shift transfer case but because it is so awesome i'll forgive it for having the knob uh, it also comes with heated seats, heated steering wheel, uh, of course all your AC controls, and then the Uconnect also has nav. Uh, very cool. It's a hot day today, as you can see, 87, so that's why we are sitting in the air condition enjoying this beast. Uh, this truck, this truck is absolutely awesome. Had to show you guys. Uh, I was down here, a friend of mine's actually getting a new truck, a uh, newer truck. Uh, he went with a Ford. I know. He came to a Dodge dealer with that has cool stuff like this and bought a Ford. Some people you just can't help, you know. But at least it's a six seven. So there there's there's at least he got a six seven. You know, at least he didn't get one of the other undesirable Fords. So at least he got a six seven. So we'll 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 cut him a break this time. So anyway, um yeah, I mean just kind of show you guys around. Uh, the, the dash and everything, I mean, other than the little emblem I showed you here, which we'll get another close-up of that, other than that emblem right there, everything else is pretty much what you would expect in a big horn. Yeah, we got our tow mirrors out. But as you can see, the AEV package comes with the embroidered headrest, the black leather, and it's ventilated leather. It's very nice. I don't know if you guys can see the ventilated, but yeah, it's very nice, very comfortable. I've actually been driving it uh, for a little while, not not too long. I mean, it's got 69 miles on it, so they wouldn't let me take it too far. But I have been driving this bad boy around, and so I'm going to hop out and show you guys. Um, the place is right on the side of the highway, so hopefully we don't get too much highway noise. That's why I wanted to start the vlog in here. But, uh, yeah, we're going to hop out and check this bad girl out. So it also comes with the amp research steps, which is very cool because... This truck is pretty high. Uh, it's only it's it's only on a three inch lift, believe it or not. But she is a very big girl. It's got your marker lights right here, and these are the AEV high rise fenders. Uh, this is part of their package. Uh, it's got the 17 by nine black wheels, and these are 40s, 40 1350 on a 17. I mean that is a monster truck tire. Like these are huge on a three inch lift with these big high rise fenders. You know, it's the fenders that, that really makes the difference because this is only a three inch lift. Like that is unreal. Uh, for those of you that have been with the channel for a while, you know my truck has a five inch lift. Here, I'll show you guys the amp research steps. These are pretty cool. I wouldn't mind getting a set for my truck. Oh, the door's still open. There you go. Very cool. Very cool. But uh, as you know, my truck is on 37s with a 5 inch lift, and I don't have near the fender space. So, yeah, awesome. Totally awesome. 
And as you can see, the Prospector XL got the cool little shovel and pick, like the old Dodge. I, I mean, I know it's it, AEV is not anyway associated with Dodge, but the uh, the old uh, shovel and pick, like they used to put on the old Prospector Rams, like back in the 80s and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool. And then of course you have your big badge right here, your big AEV badge. And again, shout out to everybody at Thunder Chrysler at Barto for letting me make the video. People down here are awesome. So if anybody needs anything in this area, definitely come see these guys. Tell them Centro Diesel sent you. But man, I just can't get over these fenders. I mean, look at this space. And these are 40s. And look at this space. Like a whole hand of space. Unreal. Of course, got the old 67 Perrin. Got our big snorkel. Very cool. Of course, we got the AEV logo on the front again. Got a big 16.5 Ti worn winch. 16,500 pound winch. Need a big winch for a big girl. Got these really beefy tow hooks right here. So you don't have to worry about that. You got good good recovery points on the front and the rear. And just to give you an idea how high these fenders really are from the factory, they gotta cut this out to make space for the headlight. That's how high up these fenders come. I mean, the top of it is, is above the headlight on the back side and then over the top here as you can see if you follow the body line they actually sit higher than the top of the headlight just to give you guys an idea how much clearance that really is i promise you the video doesn't do it justice let me shut the door so you can see this see this big girl from the front uh here make the i showed it totally there we go So check it out. Tires tuck pretty nice. With big fenders. Very nice. Very nice rig. And to give you guys a quick breakdown here, you got your Bighorn Ram 2018. As I mentioned, it's the 67 with the 68 RFE, 373 gears, uh, Bighorn 2FZ package brings you down to 60,345 just for the truck and then you come up here to your standard AEV package the Prospector XL that's the three inch lift the front bumper uh, the steel front bumper excuse me the lighting uh, the back the rear bumper the fenders the wheels the tires and then uh, you know all your plaques and all the cool stuff that, that comes with it and that gives you a grand total of 18,964, and that's how much the added cost is. So you come over here, then they added some additional equipment, full size spare, uh, the Ram Air intake that goes with the snorkel, uh, 430 gears. This truck has 430 gears in it, not the 373s anymore. With the leather interior, with the winch and the side steps. And that brings us down to 89,359. So this truck is definitely not for the faint of heart or light of pocket, but definitely a cool rig. And I'm assuming the full size spare is in the bed. I actually did not look. It is. It is ratchet strapped down in the bed. Very cool. I didn't even notice that before, by the way. Yeah, very cool. And the tailgate is super light. I'm used to my third gen. Like, this is super, super light tailgate. Probably a fortune thing. Probably not specific to the uh, AEV package, but definitely a sweet ride. And I took this thing down the road, and, I mean, it's just it's just awesome. Like, it, it moves well. Definitely doesn't feel like it's as big as it is. Very stable. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk to you all about is if you have a fortune crew cab you already know but i have to say one of the things that i really wish my third gen had was this box right here this box is way cool to be able to just open this up put stuff in here it's got this little insert that that comes out very cool definitely wish my truck had that every time i see a fortune crew cab 
that has these boxes. I'm a little jealous. I mean, I'm a jealous of a lot of things on the fortunes, but uh, especially this, because that would be so handy in my truck. But yeah, so very cool. So I had to share that with y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Uh, if I can, I'll get some driving stuff. Uh, like I mentioned, I already drove it, so I don't know how much they're gonna let me drive around in this thing. You know, this is a $90,000 truck, so I'm sure they don't want me to put too many miles on it. Okay, I know. I got my tow mirrors out like a douchebag, and I've already said I wasn't gonna do that, but in all fairness, okay, this is a $90,000 Ram, and I mean, you know, I mean, with the big fenders, eh, it, it'll be okay. You know, it'll be okay. You guys can forgive me just this once if I ride around with my tow mirrors out. You know, if I do it in my truck, feel free to say something to me about it. But in this truck, it's pretty cool, okay? In, in this truck, it's okay if you're riding around with full moose power. Nobody's going to be upset, okay? You turn a lot of heads with this truck. Nobody's worried about your mirrors. So we are back in the truck. Um, I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't ask if I could drive it anymore. Uh, I felt bad because I've already driven it around a little bit. And... I mean, the people up here are really nice. They didn't tell me I couldn't. Uh, like I said, I didn't ask. I just, I'm on the verge of feeling like I'm taking advantage, you know? So, uh, basically, we're just going to drive this big girl back over across the parking lot and park it where it belongs, and then we're going to end the video out. So, I'll just turn the camera around so you guys can kind of see. Uh, as you can see, it's got this matte, like a matte sticker on the hood. Very cool. And so you guys can kind of see kind of see what it's like but here's what i'm going to do first thing i'm going to do is back this big girl around and park it over by this other 2500 because you guys have got to see the difference in just a stock four-wheel drive 2500 and this monstrosity so there you go that's a stock 2500 so as you can see we are quite a bit quite a bit taller not too much though i mean it is only a three inch lift so i mean we're not too much taller but i mean considering the size difference and we are on 40s not 35s not 37s we are on 40s it's insane it's absolutely insane so I just realized that, that my exit's right there and I cannot go that way. So we are gonna back up ever so gently where that tundra just came through. And I have to go around the pole because we do not have that kind of turn and radius. Oh, don't know where the tundra's going. Wait for him to get straightened out. Uh, maybe he's leaving it there. Yep, looks like he's leaving it there, okay. Or she's leaving it there, excuse me. Here we go. We are gonna gently take her back over here, put her back in her place, check it out. There's my truck sitting over there. Feeling all lonely because I've been showing so much attention to uh, this monster. So my truck's probably very upset with me at the moment. So let me go over here and get turned around. Get this big girl swung around here. Sorry, keep having to change hands with the camera. It's hard to it's hard to turn these 40s with one hand, I have to say. So I apologize for the camera movement. Let's see what we're looking at here. Our handy, our super handy backup camera. Because where I have to go, I have to pull in straight because I'm going to put it right over here. I know, I know, I'm not wearing my seatbelt, I understand. It's hard to maneuver this thing with a seatbelt on, I have to say. So here we go. So we're going to finesse it. And that's a AEV Jeep also, 
which is also very cool. We'll hop out here real quick and check that out. Let me get this thing drawn up here. There we go. All right, so we are good to go. So we are gonna shut this off and hop out and go check the Jeep out. Now again, I apologize because we are right here by the road. So we will check the Jeep out as best we can. Hopefully there won't be too much racket and uh, hopefully you guys can hear. So as you can see, it's got the AEV wheels. Uh, again, I believe all their wheels are 17 by nines. These are on uh, 35 inch KM2s, uh, BF, BF Goodrich or BFGs. Uh, I'm not sure if this comes with the high rise fenders as well. These, these look a little bigger, but I'm honestly not a Jeep guy, so I really couldn't tell you. But I know these bumpers are definitely not, these are definitely not factory. And of course, it's got the full size spare. But very good looking rig also. Very cool. And most of y'all probably find this especially cool. This is a Hemi JK. So, which is quite the expensive option. I don't know if you guys can see, but right at the top, it's a $22,000, $22,900 option, which is insane. But it is cool to have a Hemi JK. So you'd probably pay more if you had some regular shop, or you'd probably pay less if you had some regular shop swap it. But uh, definitely, definitely cool. So yeah. And for those of you that are wondering, AEV stands for American Expedition Vehicle. I don't think I covered that already, but yeah, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I wish I had the 90 to throw down. Probably if I sold all three of my trucks, I'd have enough money to put down to afford the payment. So drop a comment. Let me know if you want to let me know if you want to see me get rid of my other three trucks and buy this AEV. So we'll see what we can do if we get enough comments. You know, we'll see about getting one, but uh, still trying to hold out for a fifth gen, though, I have to say. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm going to try to get another one up. Uh, I'm going to try to do a 2019 uh, 1500 Ram. I'm going to try to get one, take it out, drive it. Again, I apologize for the road noise. As you can see, we are right on the side of the highway. So, and it's about that time on a Friday. So everybody's getting off work. But uh, anyway. So we're gonna try to get some 2019 videos coming. I uh, definitely wanna check out a 2019 Ram, show you guys what it's like. I made the one video when the pictures first came out, but I'd like to be able to drive one and show you guys the interior and really get in depth. So I'm gonna try to have that coming this weekend. Um, so yeah, so that's about it for this vlog, guys. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch y'all on the next one. See ya.